2020. Inspired by the theme stimulating the economy to safeguard livelihoods and jobs, businesses and industry, those are principles that are driving the financial year 2020-2021 budget document. Enhance the provision of improved agricultural inputs using NADS, e-voucher scheme to farmers and upscaling agricultural extension services to boost production of key agricultural communities for which an allocation of 300 billion has been made. The rural economy, hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic, received a buffer of nearly 100 billion shillings to beef up cash reserves for circles and microfinance institutions to support micro, small and medium enterprises. I'm proposing an allocation of shillings of 94 billion in the coming financial year. Capitalization of the Uganda Development Bank and line agencies, such as the Development Corporation, should, according to the minister, go a long way to mitigate capital challenges and facilitate the country's industrialization agenda. To facilitate our import substitution and export promotion strategy, of which I have provided to start with 138 billion, but I want more there. Four, provide for banks to restructure loans to their borrowers who are facing liquidity constraints and provide additional liquidity on a case-by-case -case basis as recently guided by the Bank of Uganda. Government is also waiving interest and penalties on tax areas to lessen the tax liability of businesses who voluntarily comply with tax obligations. Defer payment of corporate income tax or presumptive tax for corporations and small, medium enterprises. I am deferring until September 2020 the payment of any corporate income tax and the presenting tax due 1st April 2020 to 30 June 2020. On lifting the gloomy business mood, government has committed to addressing short-term emergency capital challenges with tax deferrals. Defer payment of pay, pay as you earn by sectors affected. I'm deferring payment until September 2020 of pay due from the 1st of April 2020 to 30th June 2020 for tax-compliant Uganda businesses facing hardships as a result of COVID-19 pandemic.